Today we'll show you how to use constant pressure calorimetry to determine the enthalpy of hydration for magnesium sulfate. We are using the coffee cup calorimeter to measure temperature change when anhydrous or dry magnesium sulfate is dissolved in water. That gets us the enthalpy of dissolution. You will then use Hess's law and a given enthalpy for another reaction to get to the enthalpy of hydration. Hess's law states that the path of the reaction doesn't matter as long as the initial and final states match up. So we are treating the reaction like a two-step process? Why can't we measure the enthalpy of hydration directly in lab, Jenny? Sophie, the hydration reaction takes a long time, longer than we have for lab, so this way lets us get to the answer quicker. We will be using the laptops with Lab Pro and Temperature Probe to measure the change in temperature. Check out the How to Set Up Lab Pro with Temperature Probe video for detailed instructions. Set the coffee cup calorimeter in the hood to help avoid spills onto the laptops. Use the same coffee cups throughout the lab to minimize error. The ring clamp helps to stabilize the cups. The cardboard helps hold in the heat. If the hole in the board is large, stoppers are available that the temperature probes fit through. You will do three identical trials so you can average the results to minimize errors. A 50 milliliter graduated cylinder will be used to measure 50.0 milliliters of water. If you need more instructions to measure the water, see the How to Use Graduated Glassware video. Start with water in the coffee cup. But wait to start the experiment until the solid is ready. We can't measure the heat change of the solid directly, but we can measure the temperature of the water to get an indirect measure of heat change. Place 3.5 to 4 grams anhydrous magnesium sulfate into the weight boat. The exact amount of solid doesn't matter as long as it is in that range and you record all decimal places on the data sheet. As always, never return sample to the reagent bottle and clean the balance of any sample spills. See the How to Use Digital Balance video for more information. Start collecting temperature data with just water in the cup. It should show that the experiment will run for 15 minutes. See your lab instructor if it doesn't. The anhydrous magnesium sulfate is added when the collection reaches 4.5 minutes. Don't mix before the computer has started collecting data. While it may seem like a long wait, it is important for the water temperature to stabilize before mixing in the solid. Work together to quickly add the solid. If you take too long, the heat of the reaction can escape. Continue stirring the reaction until the computer has finished collecting data for that trial. You can take turn stirring since 15 minutes is a long time, but don't ever stop the data collection before the 15 minutes is up. Rinse the temperature probe between trials. These are dilute household reagents and can go down the drain. Dry the cups with a paper towel and they are ready for trial two. Follow the directions in your lab manual to find the initial and final temperature. After you record the temperatures on your data sheet, reset the program for trial two. The temperature change for all three trials is averaged and used to get the heat, or Q, gained by the water. Follow the calculations to get from there to the enthalpy of hydration. Remember to arrive on time to lab with your completed pre-lab assignment and lab gear. And don't forget to take your pre-lab quiz. Have fun in lab today!